Don't fly British Airways fake business class. Wait, fake business class? Yeah, I know that's a bold statement, but what British Airways sells as business class on their inter-European routes, known as Club Europe, is anything but business class. So after having a great time in Poland, I highly recommend you do visit by the way, shout out to any Polish viewers, we decided to take a British Airways flight from Krakow to London. This trip starts off with a delayed check-in at John Paul II Krakow International Airport, where we line up in the business class <laughs> Club Europe check-in line and get checked in. Our plane has been delayed for an hour, but as this is due to weather, it's just an unavoidable annoyance. Going through immigration was a bit of a nightmare, with us having some serious issues with our visa status due to the weird routing of our Singapore Airlines business class flight we took previously. See the video in the card about that. But with minutes before our flight, we got through immigration, gaining our second EU exit stamp. Boarding commences immediately, and I was disappointed to find that we had to board the plane via our bus instead of a jet bridge. This is something we would expect from a budget carrier, but not from British Airways. After a short bus drive to the plane, we board via stairs. There's no rhyme or reason to the boarding, and it's just everyone for themselves. Once we were on board, and as we made our way to our seats, we were disappointed to find that the business class cabin was just normal 3x3 economy class seating with a strange table in the middle seat. Kind of serves no purpose but to make it more difficult to shuffle into and out of the seat, especially when people in front of you are reclined. This seating configuration means there's no extra leg room in Club Europe and only extra shoulder room if you're bigger like me. So with that disappointment out of the way, let's do a quick seat tour of what is very clearly a bog standard economy class seat. Talk about makeup on a pig. We have a tray table here that folds down from the seat in front of you, a cubby for written materials, and the classic economy seat staple, a place to put your loose items. You'll find the middle seat is occupied by this chair table thing, not sure what it purpose it serves. As I mentioned earlier, it just makes it harder to get into and out of the seating when the passengers ahead of you are reclined. It could be removed to make the older seats wider, it's just kind of an odd way to justify the business class pricing. It's not an ergonomic place to put anything and using the middle seat's fold down table would be much more convenient. On a positive side, we have air vents on this old aircraft, something that many carriers have been removing over the years. It's time to take off. And while we're taking off, let's look at the entertainment on board. But before we do that, I'd like to ask a favor from you. I'm on my journey to 1000 subscribers. And if you like videos like this, clicking that subscribe button will help you continue to make videos like this for you. Right now, all these videos are self-funded, but with your help, I can reach monetization status and start subsidizing these videos with ad revenue. I appreciate your support. British Airways offers Wi-Fi for £8, with no discount for business class passengers. While this is certainly nice to have on the flight, it's not exactly a generous offering considering that this ticket was upwards of $500, US and that's the entirety of the flight entertainment offering for business class passengers. Very disappointing. Other than that, I hope you packed a book, as there's no other flight entertainment on this two and a half hour flight. One brighter note on this flight was the food, which was catered by the acclaimed company Dotco, with a quinoa and sweet corn salad, a lamb coconut curry, and a selection of cheeses for lunch. The lamb curry was particularly delicious. It featured a cheese stuffed pepper and the cheese selection was also quite good. The canola was flavorful and the dessert was a little bit too sweet for our taste, but still quite enjoyable. Do & Co always offers a superior experience when it comes to in-flight catering and this meal was no exception. Now it's time for a quick bathroom tour. There's not too much to write home about here. It's a bathroom in a narrow body aircraft. As we come into land, it's time to think about the experience. I can't fault the staff, every interaction we had with them was excellent. But overall, our experience on this British Airways flight from Krakow to London was just disappointing. The food was excellent and the service was great, but the hard product, the lack of a jet bridge, and as I said, the hard product, the basic business class cabin, it all just left us feeling very underwhelmed. For five times the price of an economy ticket, it's hard to justify spending this much money. This isn't five times better than BA economy. Most of the compelling reasons to buy Club Europe lounge access, priority check-in, boarding, baggage allowance, come free with status. So if you have status with One World and you want to have this middle seat blocked, then just buy an extra ticket and save yourself having to pay so much. I hope you found this review helpful. I know it's a bit of a downer this one, but if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Next, check out this Singapore Airlines video where we took a flight from Barcelona to Milan and it almost got us deported, but it was an excellent flight. I'll see you next time.